Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. Today we're taking a look at our ready-made Avalanche trailer package. So this is a 7x14 tandem axle trailer with a 7,000 pound rating. We have a 10 gallon a minute pressure washer and then we've got our 10 gallon a minute soft wash system. So as you move in a little bit closer, we'll go over everything. Um, now you'll notice right off the bat that this is an fully aluminum trailer, the aluminum decking, aluminum railing, um, and aluminum wheels on it. So definitely a premium trailer, but ideal for minimal corrosion. So on something like this with all the aluminum on the flooring, we don't really have a need for that protective flooring because the bleach won't eat through the wood. So um, again, moving in a little bit closer, we'll talk about the soft wash system. This is a gas engine soft wash system with a Honda engine and then the AR45 pump. It's connected to our Midwest mixing system. So it mixes your water, your surfactant, and your bleach, and all through metering valves here. We've got a flush valve for the bleach line, and then we use a, uh, a filter and everything going to the water lines through here. So it's gonna keep debris out of your proportioner system, out of your pump, um, anything that we can help to keep everything running smoothly. Um, this valving system that you can kind of see down here connects either from the water tank or from a winterizing tank. So if you're in an area like you are up north, this is a quick way to winterize your system without having to fill this big 325 gallon tank up with antifreeze or windshield washer fluid. If you're down south and you don't have a need for a winterizing system, then it's a perfect extra soap tank for you. So um, we have a two inch tank drain on the 325 gallon water tank. It's controlled by a valve, so it can quickly drain that tank when you have a two inch valve. We have four hose reels. These are all uh, electric powered Titan reels. They're the 18 inch barrels and they've got the premium hose guides on there. Uh, we have the locking connections just to keep everything nice and tidy at the front of the trailer. Um, so what we have here are our two pressure washer reels. We have the 10 gallon split up into a two gun system. So you've got two five gallon a minute hose reels here. Um, we can upgrade to a half inch hose if you wanna use one of them as a primary and have all 10 gallon a minute going through one hose. Um, and then you would just change out nozzles to switch from 10 gallon use to five gallon use. So um, five gallon a minute, five gallon a minute on both of those. We've got 200 feet of hose on both sections. And then moving down, we have our 300 foot of half inch hose for the gas engine soft wash. And then we have 200 feet of the three quarter inch inlet hose. So we can fit 200 foot on these 18 inch reels. On the 12 inch reels, we're kind of limited to about 100, maybe a little over 100 feet. So we'll go ahead, move around back. The other nice thing about this aluminum trailer is the gate folds in half. So you don't have this big, huge gate obstructing your view if you're backing up. It drops it down and keeps it nice and easy to either access things or just for driving and backing up. We've got an aluminum toolbox on the opposite side here. It is a locking toolbox and it very easy to open, just kind of has the shocks on there, holds everything in place. You can drop all of your, your wands, your extra hoses, extra pieces, anything that you need um, in there and keep it locked up so it stays secure. We have a 50 gallon bleach tank. This is what your pressure washer, I'm sorry, this is what your soft wash system is drawing out of. You can also draw through your um, pressure washer as well. We have a ladder rack on top. See the other side of the tank. Um, when you're looking at the top of the tank, you'll see two hoses. So this black hose here is our cool bypass hose for the pressure washer. So on the pressure washer, whenever you're using it, you pull the trigger, all that water is going out through the wand assembly. As soon as you let go, it's cycling at the pump. So what we do is we extend that hose back to the tank so it can recirculate that nice cool water through the pump, keeping your pump uh, safe and cool and uh, it won't overheat while you're moving things around. You pretty much have an unlimited amount of time as long as you've always got water in this tank. The green hose on the other side is the fill hose. So from the hose reel, it's going into, the, from the garden hose reel, it's going into the tank. And then underneath that fill hose, we have a float valve. That float valve will control the level of water. So as soon as it reaches the top up to the float, it'll shut the water off. And as soon as you start pulling water from it again, it'll start filling that tank again. So um, when you have two 10 gallon a minute systems, you wanna keep this uh, pretty much at capacity as needed. 
We do have a filter system going to the pressure washer as well. Lots of filters means keeping all of these pumps clean. It's super easy to clean out the filters on these systems. We put ball valves in front of all of them, so you don't have to empty your tank. If you feel like you're getting low flow, you can just turn the ball valve to shut off the water flow from the tank, unscrew your filter real quick, check to see if any debris is in there, get it cleaned out, put it back in, and then open up that valve again and it'll push the water right through. So quick, easy uh, filter clean outs. On the pressure washer, we also have a, um, a primer valve. And what that primer valve does is it gets all the air out of, your, um, out of your incoming water line from the tank to the pressure washer and gets uh, water going through the head of the pump. So it primes up your pressure washer, much, much easier start. Um, if you've ever tried to start a pressure washer off of a tank, and the engine turns on and no water comes out, it's because it wasn't properly primed. So we just uh, kind of help that make it a lot easier so we don't have to worry about it. Um, the pressure washer has a Honda GX800 engine and then it has the big T-Series general pump on there. Um, we're a big fan of general pumps. It's what we use on most of our high flow systems. The, uh, this comes with a genuine Honda muffler and then we just use the elbow and rain cap to keep from any water getting in there. Um, we've seen before where when you don't have this cap on there, water will just shoot right in there if you're driving down the road um, while it's raining and water will get into your exhaust system. So this is a nice, safe way to build it. We also have a 12 gallon fuel tank for the pressure washer system. The battery is just behind it. The battery's there to power the electric start, uh, but it also supplies power for the power hose reels. And then lastly, we'll talk about the tanks that are right behind the soft wash system. So we have our surfactant tank. We have just a regular downstream soap injection tank. And then we have our winterizing tank. And again, if you don't need a winterizing tank, that's just a third soap tank that you can have on hand. And these are all 16 gallon tanks. Very easy to access or fill if needed. Uh, fuel tanks are very easy to fill, both here right at the front of the trailer. Um, so we try to make this as, uh, as simple of a system as we can without overcomplicating things too much. Uh, but that being said, this is a kind of a base package. We can add any kind of things to it. We've added rinse remotes to them uh, for the pressure washer or for the soft wash system. You can add surface cleaners. There's room for surface cleaners in the back. So it, it's a ready-made system, but it can still be customized the way that you want it. So, if you have any additional questions, you can look at the listing on our website, 3rpressurewashers.com, and you'll look in the ready-made trailer section, or you can give us a call and we'll go over anything on the phone with you. Thanks.